What is up, my AMC fam? What is up, my GME family? What is up, my Eight family? What is up, my retail family? It's your boy Mike coming at you from Pachanga. Now, it's not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, everybody hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Now, as you can see behind me, there's a whole bunch of chairs. A whole bunch of chairs right there, right there. Got a big screen back there. Right on this side, there's a podium, okay? Now, if we walk this way, straight ahead, just a little bit, and you're gonna see, there's gonna be a bunch more chairs. There's another screen right there as we get over there. And you can see another auditorium, another podium. And again, rows and rows of chairs. Now, you ask me, what's the reason for this? A lot of people may not know this, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. I'm actually gonna be having two seminars, okay? That is two. Number one, how to get through hard times, how to invest during a bear market, how to get through and be motivated and to make money on the downside. Also, how to hodl, how to stop being a paper hand a bitch, how to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, boom, I can bet you from Pachanga. This is not financial advice. <laughs> this is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, everybody hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? There's a couple of auditoriums. I was walking around, had to make a video. I wanted to stop by, just borrowing it for a second. I'm going to be taking off and grab some eat right now. Okay, now, what's been going on in the stock market, okay? Now, we all know what happened yesterday. We have Cineworld, even though I want to say Cinnabon, Cineworld. They come out to say they might claim bankruptcy. And the news media runs with it and they tell you all kinds of stuff and a bunch of nonsense and AMC's down 14% because the attendance is bad and you got people like Meet Kevin and people in the news telling you a whole bunch of rubbish and garbage and all other stuff like that, right? It is what it is. We know the introduction was ape coming into the market, took away from AMC, boom, there's it. Now, people still in other countries have not received their ape. That's a problem. Okay, now that's just one problem of about 3 billion, 4 billion, 5 billion problems. There's tons and tons of issues and tons of problems, okay? But yesterday on my live, someone said something. Now, I laughed out loud, it cracked me up, I was busting up. And they said this, they have a brokerage, in turn, they have shares of AMC. They have not received the shares of APE, but they were able to buy shares of APE through that same brokerage. <laughs> Okay, now you're talking about ass backwards. That is ass backwards right there. Now, I know people, some people have sold eight, but I know more people, I say no people, I sell a lot more people that have actually bought eight. Now, me personally, I now have uh, 300 and some shares of eight that I have bought. And I know somebody that messaged me this morning bought another 270. So, ape is being bought up as well as AMC, but ape at the price where it's at, people are buying ape like crazy. Now, with that being said, what should you do? Should you sell ape? Should you buy ape? You already know, I'm buying ape. I'm a big buyer in ape, holding it for the long haul, diamond handed, hot lit the same way, you know, AMC, GameStop, ape, exact same way, nothing changes. You put ape and AMC, you combine both of those, part, those shares together, that's the price of your total investment, okay? Now, we all know that, that's all old news, okay? Now, what came out today? New news that came out today, this morning, okay? We had some PMI numbers came out. What does that mean? Nothing didn't change the market much, right? But there was a miss. Not very good, but it is what it is. Now, we also had some housing numbers come out. Now, housing numbers came out, fell off a cliff. Still, not price in the market. Still, many issues to come. Still, a rough road ahead, okay? So, this has not been priced in the market when it comes to the housing. I tell you, crypto's going to be taking a hit pretty soon. A bigger hit than what you're seeing. And we're going to have nasty downside. Still, a big bear in the market for the long haul. But in the short term, there's any green. Hey, make your money. Do what you got to do. Hey, it is what it is, okay? But let me say this. Let me be very clear about what is going on and what's I'm preparing for and what I want to give some advice on how do you to prepare for yourself. Okay. Now, if you have any money in any brokerages or any accounts, make sure it's liquid, make sure it's there. It's not tied up in anything. So when you see something, when there's nasty downside in the market that you want to buy, you want to hold for a nice recovery to make great gains, do so. Okay. But before you do that, what I want you to do is I want you to have money set aside, cash, cash on hand. Not only do you have cash on hand to protect your family, do you have money just in case there's you know nasty downturn that happens like this? Because again, the retail investors always last to know. They're not gonna tell you when it's, not, when it's gonna happen. They're not gonna give you a warning. They're not gonna be like, hey, there's gonna be some nasty downside, prepare, it's just gonna happen. And then they're gonna be all confused and shocked. But you know damn well that everybody behind those cameras and everybody in the news media outlets and everybody up in, in Washington and all over the place, they've been preparing for this, they know what's coming. They're just not telling us they don't need to they don't care about the 99 percent. they only care about themselves okay so other than having cash on hand what i want you to do is also have some food reserves okay put some food away for your family uh make sure you have enough for you know a couple of weeks maybe a month uh you know some waters and things like that you know a little bit of prep a little have a little extra to the side never hurts anybody it's never a bad problem never a bad thing to do okay always protect yourself so having a little bit of cash on hand 
have a little bit of uh, food reserves for yourselves for the rough times, very, very rough times. Because again, we don't know what's coming. And there's a, you think about what's going on with the last two and a half years about what's happened, what they're trying to conform you to do. You think it's over? It's not, okay? Now, let me get back to the stock market. Stock market. What's gonna happen when it comes to AMC, GameStop, and Ape? Well, number one, I say this. You don't sell, you just buy and you hold if you can afford it. If you can't, doing nothing, still doing something. Number two, when everything hits the fan, people are gonna start throwing each other under the bus. People are gonna start just, uh, you know what? Hey, it's gonna be everybody for themselves. And the hedge funds are gonna start eating hedge funds and it's gonna get nasty. And like they say, they've been saying this, once the big one goes, everything else is gonna tumble. There's always gonna be someone out there that's gonna take a fall and it's gonna go bankrupt. It's gonna take a massive hit, liquidated, done. It's gonna drop liquidity. And what would do for AMC and GameStop and Ape? Well, would it push them up? Yes. Do I believe that? Yes. Is this the reason why I'm holding? Yes. I'm holding for life-changing money, for short squeeze, all these things that we always talk about, billion synthetic shares, on and on and on, no matter how long it takes. But I will say this, no matter what happens, I will protect my family. No matter what happens, I know my value, I know my worth, and no matter what happens, I know the reason why I hold, and no matter what happens, I know my number. Know yours, know your value, know your worth, and always be prepared, because at any point, anything, anything can happen. And if you can understand this, you're in a great spot. Until then, I shall she, I shall see, I said she, see everybody shortly. Have a great day. God bless. See you soon. Peace.